Good day, dear panelists. I am John Sarabia from Tagoran City, a CL major applying for senior high school teacher. Today, I'll be showing you my teaching demonstration, and my topic is the basic parts of a computer. So let me proceed to my teaching demonstration. Good morning, class. As we start, please stand for our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning once again. May I ask the class monitor to please check the attendance? Okay, no absence. Keep it up, class. Before we start our lesson today, can you give me a recap of what we have tackled last meeting? Yes, Alvin. Great, we discussed the history of computers. And now, in relation to our discussion today, we will have our first activity. The class will be divided into two, and please select a secretary to record your answer. In this activity, you will solve a jumbled word in 10 seconds each. Please see in the monitor. So, do you have any questions and clarifications? If there's none, let's start. And the timer starts now. And here is your first jumble word. Next. 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 And the last one. And the time is over. How many jumble words you've sold? Good. Let's get started in our lesson. There are many different types of computers, but they all use similar parts to operate. Today, I'm going to show you what these parts are and what they're used for. Starting with a standard desktop models. The computer case holds the main components of the computer. This is where the actual processing happens. Today, most cases are what we call the tower cases, which means they stand up vertically, but they can also come in other shapes and sizes. To view things on your computer, you'll need a monitor. The monitor uses the video processor inside your computer case to display images, text, and other content. Most monitors have an LCD or LED display, both of which are very thin so they don't type out much space. All-in-one models are even more compact since they combine the monitor and the computer case into a single unit. To interact with your computer, you'll need a keyboard and a mouse. Keyboard comes in many different styles, including wireless and ergonomic. The mouse is used to control the mouse pointer on the screen, so you can click and interact with your computer. Most mice detect movement using an optical sensor on the bottom. Underneath, you'll find a small electronic eye. Laptops combine all those things into one. That includes the components that are normally inside the computer case. Plus, a built-in screen, a keyboard, and a touchpad. The touchpad is a small touch-sensitive area that takes the place of a traditional mouse. It lets you control the mouse pointer using a drawing motion with your finger. Laptops offer the best of both worlds when it comes to portability. You can use them on the go thanks to the built-in battery. Or you can connect a separate monitor, keyboard, and mouse, effectively turning your laptop into a desktop. So those are the basic parts of any computer setup. As you can see, each part plays an important role, which you'll come to find and understand as we continue our learning in our future meeting. And that's the end of our lesson. Now I want you to get a half sheet of paper for the assessment. Okay, number one. Please identify. It holds the main components of the computer. Number two, it uses the video processor inside your computer case to, to display images, text, and other content. Number three, it is used to control the mouse pointer on the screen. Number four, a small touch sensitive area that takes place of a traditional mouse. And lastly, number five, it is portable for it combines all the components of a desktop computer. 
Are you all done? Now please pass your paper here in front. Any clarifications or questions with regards to our discussion today? None? Okay. For your assignment, please in detail the role of the basic parts of the computer and pass it in our next meeting. As we end, please stand for our prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye everyone and see you next meeting.